We've completed an absolutely insane journey through Mexico on our way to the United States. Right here, we've just come off of a 38 hour bus journey from Veracruz to Chihuahua. And we're on our way to New Mexico for a house sit there. Yeah, so we're on this mad dash to get back to the United States, but what would make us uh, stop just one and a half hours south of the US border in order to hole up for a few days? Well, the answer to that is, quite simply, food. We're in the town of Villa Ahumada in Chihuahua State, and this town is located on Highway 45, kind of roughly between Juarez and uh, the city of Chihuahua. And we're here because this is a popular place to stop for food in Mexico. And I mean, that, that's all we needed to know um, in order to come here for a few days. The name of the game in town here is quesadillas, asadero cheese, and burritos. So that's and chili rellenos. And chili rellenos. Thank you. The most important thing, don't forget the chili rellenos. <laughs> and we're gonna get right into that right away here. So what we have here is salsa suero, which is something we've never heard of. Uh, but we tried it here when we got to Via Ahumada. And um, suero means whey. So this is right here, this is whey from the Asadero cheese. And uh, this is simmered with a little bit of uh, jalapeno peppers in it. And it's served warm with quesadillas. And um, I gotta say, it's quite nice. Uh, I'm glad we tried this. Never heard of it before, but uh, it's wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. And the flavor of the salsa suero is just a little bit spicy, just a little bit salty. And just one more thing to note about salsa suero. In our experience, this is typically served with quesadillas in Via Ahumada. All right, I got a simple quesadilla with uh, two Asadero cheeses on it. So this cheese right here is, uh, it resembles a tortilla. It's a thin, round, flat piece of cheese. And this cheese is suitable for grilling or melting. Um, it doesn't give off a lot of oil. It doesn't drip and ooze. So uh, it's actually pretty easy to eat this once it's melted. And I think the taste is kind of like, um, it's a mild taste. It's like a fresh milk, um, slightly salted. Oh, yeah, and this was 23 pesos, by the way, so that's just over a dollar. Route 45 runs through the Ahumada. Now, along that route, you're going to find probably around five or six of these unions um, with, with vendors. And all of them, they all pretty much sell the same thing. They all sell burritos, quesadillas, and chili rellenos. You can get drinks as well. The variety of burritos, they're all the same, um, no matter which vendor you go to. Just all sell the same thing. We've eaten quite a few of them, and they're all pretty good. I can't say one's better than the other. No complaints, not here. Right, so I've gotten the chili relleno here, and uh, this is on a flour tortilla. Um, a little smear of bean on here, and uh, this is a battered California chili. I asked what kind this was, I figured it was Anaheim. I was told it was a California chili, I was asked if they were the same thing, he said more or less. So this is uh, battered and filled with Asadero cheese. So we're gonna cut into this, maybe get a nice little cross section of that. Ooh, look at that big vein of cheese right there. Oh shit. All right, so you got your batter here, your California chili, which isn't that spicy. I've had this before. And you've got a nice chunk of melted cheese in there. And this is 20 pesos, by the way. That's one US dollar. And um, I'm loving it. It's just wonderful. From what we could see walking up and down here, like I said, there are about five or six of these unions. It seems like the earliest one established was around 1980. So they were all established at different times. Even though they're all unions, there's five or six of them. They are all very different. The earliest one you can see is 1980. It seems like the latest one we've seen is around 2008. That's right. Yeah. Um, and then anything in between. So they are unique in their own way. But yet they do all sell the same thing. 
Aside from the different unions selling burritos and quesadillas, Route 45 is also aligned with uh, quite a few cremerias selling cheese. Uh, namely the Asadero cheese, which Via Ahumada is famous for. So after getting something to eat, many people will stop into a cremeria and bring some cheese home. And aside from cheeses, these cremerias also sell wheat flour tortillas, galletas de nata, which are a cream cookie, other sweets, chorizo, and assorted gourmet goods. And it's important to note that you can buy uh, salsa suero all up and down the street here at the Cremerias, just like you can the Asadero cheese. So uh, yeah, give it a shot. Take some of this home, take it with you on the road. You'll be glad you did. Now there's also restaurants along this route. The, the vendors aren't the only places to go eat. So there are like, uh, there's, there's independent restaurants scattered amongst these unions. Um, and we've tried a few of them too. And I have to say our favorite so far has been Burritos Gutierrez. We're at uh, Burritos Gutierrez and this is quickly becoming a favorite of ours. Finally, the hunt is over. It's a burrito de lengua, which is a, a tongue burrito. Um, tongue features on a lot of menus until you actually go in to order it, and then they just don't have it. So I've been searching for this over the last couple of days and finally came back here. So I got my tongue burrito. Um, so this is what it looks like. Just so you can take a wee peek. So that's it, it, it came with some beans. There's some potatoes on there, and this was 57 pesos. So 57 pesos is probably about two dollars and 75 cents. 75 maybe. cents, yeah, something around there. A little, so, yep, yeah, around yeah. there. So yay, <laughs> tongue burrito, finally. <laughs> and I ordered the burrito carnitas de puerco but I got that Montado, and that is with a layer of Asadero cheese on it. And um, she asked if I wanted beans as well, and I said yes, sure, why not? So that is my burrito right there, 57 pesos, same as Fiona's, that's about uh, just a little under three dollars, so. So it's been a while since I've had carnitas. Uh, this is very good. Um, uh, it's nice and tender. A lot of fat through here, which is um, something that uh, I don't mind at all. I think it adds to the flavor. And I, I'm putting a little bit of hot sauce on it, a little bit of salsa on here. It's a nice little spice to that. So uh, the acidero on top of it is just, you know, adds to, to the whole thing. So um, I'm enjoying it, definitely. Burrito, burrito de lengua. It was so perfect. I went and got another. Um, oh, you're in big trouble. Seriously, how can you go wrong with really, really lean meat, really tender meat, and potatoes all wrapped in a flour tortilla? This is absolute perfection. Yeah. And I've got to say that I've had tongue before and I can take it or leave it. Um, but I gotta say that, no, I have to say that this tongue right here is definitely wicked tender. And it's got this nice uh, flavor like it's simmered in like a, like a beef bone broth. It's absolutely amazing. It tastes like the loveliest beef stew you've ever had in your life. There you go. The loveliest yep. beef stew known to man is wrapped up in this flour tortilla, except for its, its tongue. I'm going to assume it's like cow tongue beef, but Jesus. Yeah, I think, I think that's always been my uh, strike against lengua is um, uh, just the texture of it. Um, it's just a little bit spongy. That's just my own take on it, but this stuff is very, very tender. Um, uh, I can be fooled into, into thinking that this is just some prime cut of beef. Absolutely wonderful flavor, wonderful texture. 
better than any prime butter beef, I can tell you. I'm, I'm, I'm lost for words. <laughs> You're speechless, I can tell. I am, I'm just going to eat. It's a rare moment. <laughs> But these restaurants that Fiona mentioned, uh, they offer a little bit more variety. Uh, you can get quesadillas and burritos at these restaurants, of course. Uh, you can get other things as well. So if you're looking for a little you bit... You can get tongue burritos. <laughs> yeah, you can. And uh, Burritos Gutierrez does it pretty well. Very good uh, tongue <laughs> at Burritos Gutierrez. But uh, if you're after a little bit more variety, uh, carne asada, carnitas, uh, even tacos, uh, you're definitely going to want to try the restaurants rather than come to these little uh, uh, five or six little union establishments that are set up along Highway 45. But, uh, There's also street carts that are doing tacos. So it's not just restaurants and unions. You've got street food, little street stalls. Um, yeah, you've just got like a mad variety of food here. It's, it's brilliant. We'll be here again. We will. And largely the claim to fame here in Via Omada are these unions here that we're talking about. And the burritos, quesadillas, and chilarianos that they sell here. So. I'd also like to point out that uh, when it comes to the cremerias selling cheese and salsas and uh, gourmet foods and tortillas, and when it comes to the vendors selling the burritos, quesadillas, and chilarianos, all of these are on the southbound side, southbound side of Highway 45. These are all open 24 hours. They do pretty crack and trade throughout the night, and throughout the day as well. Yeah, Via Hamada is really known for these. These burritos are a dollar each, absolutely fantastic value. People traveling along this route for whatever reason they're on this route, this is a really well-known spot for just families to stop, independent travelers, buses stop, there are a couple of bus stations, so they do stop, vendors hop on the bus, they sell burritos, they sell quesadillas. Our very first time coming through the Ahmada was around the end of 2019. Um, we'd crossed over at Juarez and we were going south through Mexico. So as we were coming through on the bus, um, we spotted this town, we spotted all these vendors and it really does stand out because it's like nothing you've ever seen before. So our interest was piqued, we were intrigued and we swore one day we were going to stop and check it out. Now we've actually passed through on the bus a few more times since and we've never stopped till now. And now we're here, this is our fourth night. We do have to drag ourselves away tomorrow. And when I say drag, I mean drag, but we'll be back. I think I'm gonna waddle away from here after four days. And here's just a bit of history. The Camino Real de Tierra Adentro, or the Royal Road of the Innerland, ran through what is now Via Ahumada. The Camino Real was a Spanish road which ran 2,560 kilometers or 1,590 miles from Mexico City to San Juan Pueblo, which is north of Santa Fe, New Mexico. And this road was active from 1598 to 1882. And at least 500 years prior to that, this route was actually part of a flourishing trade network which connected much of Mesoamerica to lands as far north as the Rocky Mountains. One fairly well-known name to traverse the Camino Real was Spanish conquistador Juan de Oñate. And in 1605, he actually carved his name into a rock face at a very famous spot in New Mexico. And we have a video on that. We're going to link to that right up above. And that ends the history lesson for this video, I promise. A comprar las quesadillas aquí yo va con el violín y con el hermano Luis y con mi compadre Choche. Choche. <laughs> Mucho gusto a ustedes. Gracias. <laughs> So we had an absolutely lovely three full days in Via Ahumada. Now we were on a mission. We were determined this time we were going to see the town and we were going to check out the vendors. And we fulfilled our mission. Um, but aside from the vendors, there's a couple of nice little squares to sit in in the town. Um, the people themselves were absolutely lovely. And it was just, it was just a, a really nice little spot to, to while away a few days and just relax really and stuff our faces. 
On top of all of that, we found a brilliant hotel to stay in and we'll leave a link to that right up above. So the main reason for coming to the Ahmada is to eat. This is simply the most fabulous raise fest you'll probably ever encounter. It's, it's just, it's fantastic. You just, you walk up and down the street and you just graze, which is why we're here for three full days, is to just continuously eat. And that's worked out pretty good so far, hasn't it? Oh yeah, yeah, we're very happy. Very happy grazing.